Hej, Theo. Jeg skal lige tænde med dig, tror jeg. It's what's not said in Thomas Vinterberg's icy drama that makes his film truly frightening. Mads Mikkelsen plays Lucas, a nursery school teacher who refuses to speak up when accused of sexual assault by one of his pupils. Director Thomas Vinterberg won't let you look away for a second. Peter, the kind of the popular view, perhaps the unkind view, is that uh, Vinterberg's career has been in the doldrums since Feston. Is that fair? And is this a comeback? It is an absolutely storming comeback. I thought it was absolutely terrifically good. Um, it's about a wrongful accusation of child abuse. And it's as straightforward as that, in a way. I, when I first sat down to this film, I thought, is it going to be ambiguous? Are you supposed to think halfway through, oh, God, maybe he did it after all? But no, that's not, that's not the point. And these aren't spoilers because it's right up front from... From the, from the first minute, this is not what the film's about. It reminded me of Straw Dogs, in a way. It has the same really creepy, oppressive, unbearable atmosphere. Uh, and it's, I, I say, it's a little like Lars von Trier, but without the facetiousness, without the kind of ha-ha, I'm just, I'm just having you on thing that, the, that Lars would probably do to you. It's done with absolute seriousness. It's, and it's photographed brilliantly. It really is very good. Uh, Catherine, Peter's right in saying that it's, it would be quite easy to make this kind of material quite schlocky or even soapy. I mean, do you feel that in the film or do you think it's kind of handled well enough to, to get by? I think no. I mean, it's absolutely brilliantly done and, and, and that's partly because it's so well performed, not just by Mads Mikkelsen, but by the little girl who plays the little girl, mm. who's just astonishing, actually. And, I mean, without, with a less convincing, with a less interesting child, I think it would be a different kind of film. Apparently, Thomas Vinterberg was saying that um, he wanted to make it so that you were obviously feeling for Mads Mikkelsen's character, but also could understand why the little girl had said what she did, which I think he succeeds in doing. He's also said that people have turned against um, Kara's character, Carla's character, which mm. I can see as well, yeah. that you start to think, you know, you're sort of a little Damien character yeah. in your own way. <laughs> oh, she does. I mean, she yeah. looks like the kids from the village of the dad. I mean, she really does. One of the brilliant things about this film is that nobody is allowed to be the baddie, and you can really sympathise with every single person. You don't really think that anybody is totally bad. You don't look like you I don't, agree. I don't, I think it's partly about people's enjoyment of a witch hunt and, and enjoyment of coming together against her and, and, and enjoyment of scandal. Enjoy, I, you know, I really got that sort of bloodlust for, especially in the scene in the supermarket. And, yes, and OK, yeah. People that, love to feel outraged. And, and I got and, that. I got that from the, just the, the, the sort of the people who work in the supermarket, yes. But for the rest of the wider community, especially the people that knew him, I didn't get any sense that they were enjoying the scandal or, or luxuriating it in any way. I got the impression that they, were, that they were forced to do it. They didn't want to do it, but that they were going to submit to the irrational compulsion of the herd. But I didn't get the sense that they were like the ending of The Wicker Man or anything, that they were, they were turning ugly in that sense. One thing really that really great. frustrated me about it, though, was the fact that Mads Mikkelsen's character never really speaks out for himself until that key key moment and I did find myself kind of you know wanting to claw at the screen and be like just say something just say defend yourself or yeah or is that part of, of the I can believe the that though yeah. I can believe that somebody in that situation would be too stunned they would think that saying anything at all is sort of an admission of guilt they don't want to go down that road and sort of get themselves further and further mired in this accusation I can s well imagine that you would be you would you would freeze you would go into a kind of catatonic state almost, then you wouldn't defend yourself. I can well imagine it. Skal vi to bare lige sidde her vågne lidt, ikke? Mor, er I sure på Lukas? Nu sidder vi bare her lidt skæt, ikke? Han har ikke gjort noget. Det var bare mig, der sagde noget dumt noget. Og nu er alle børnehaverne også begyndt at tale om det. De siger alt muligt. 